Hello, this is Wampire uh, here to talk about guerrilla warfare strategy, right? Uh, when you take a look at the history of the Philippines, and, and we're talking about warfare, okay? So when you view their history and you see the wars that the Philippines has been involved in, a lot of times they were up against superior forces. So when that happens, you really kind of almost don't have a choice but to fight in a manner where you're utilizing guerrilla warfare tactics, okay? Because that is pretty much like the best way to go up against superior forces. So the country, the people of the Philippines, to me, you know, they're very good at guerrilla warfare. They are guerrilla fighters. And um, historically, you know, they, they've been doing it for a very long time. They're experts at it. And that, I believe, is ingrained in traditional Filipino martial arts. So uh, when you look at things, when we go to the martial arts, like Eskrima Kali Arnis, and you keep that mentality of the guerrilla warfare mindset, you're going to imagine that your opponent is superior is a superior opponent and you got to go up against this guy and let's take a look at the heaven six so the heaven six is if you take a look at that you know when you're going up against superior forces whether it's war or whether it's much much smaller self-defense right you got to milk everything that you got what you do you gotta be able to make that into everything that you do into your advantage because your resources are thin to begin with. They have more resources. They are the superior opponent. So that is the mentality right there. If you look at the Heaven Six, that's exactly what they do. They milk the Heaven Six. The Heaven Six can be done with you know, empty hand. It could be done with weapons. It could be done with a bunch of all kinds of different weapons. It could be done offensively, defensively, as a counter. There's just so many different applications for the Heaven Six. And uh, that's exactly, to me, the mindset of a guerrilla fighter. Uh, now, there's one more. I was, um, you know, years ago, I got a comment, a person criticized me, and, and they were saying that the Heaven Six starting position, this right here, right, which I call the over-under position. Some people call this closed position. This is the open, closed, okay? Uh, so this position right here, you know, they said it is nothing more than an arm position, a starting position to learn the Heaven Six. So in actual combat, you don't use it. Well, I feel like this person wasn't understanding me because I was coming from the guerrilla warfare mindset. You know, to truly understand Filipino martial arts, I feel like you got to think like the way those people did back in those times, you know. So... When you apply that way of thinking, we milk everything, including this, including the starting position. So when you use this for combat, for real life, including self-defense, then it becomes, that's where the wedge comes from, okay? So the hand on top is your top wedge. The hand on the bottom is your bottom wedge. And then you could do them simultaneously where you're having the top and the bottom go together. So pretty much that is the origin or the birthplace of the wedge. So that's it for now. Thank you for viewing and take care, folks.